Now that I've shown you how to manipulate and create a drawing using a background template, I'd like to show you how to create a drawing from scratch using the power tools that are found in the program. These power tools allow us to create art and manipulate it with a high degree of ease. Let's now open a new file. We will indicate that there is no background template. I'm going to use the circle tool to create an ellipse that's going to represent a petal of a flower. Using a rotation tool, I can rotate and duplicate that petal. And I can repeat the process to create a complete layer of petals. I can select this whole group and rotate it again, creating a second layer of petals. Now, using the circle tool again, I can create the center of the flower. Selecting all of these, I can then paint them any shade of color, filling the centers and outlining them with any shade of gray for the line. I can tilt the flower to look like it's being viewed from the side. and I can make a copy of it as though it were being passed through a mirror. And move that mirror image into frame. Taking another copy, I can move it in front. Now I'll straighten it out to make it appear as though it's facing more head on. We've created a little clump of flower top. Now let's build the stems. I'm building a single long line, which I'm going to duplicate and move slightly. Those are the two sides of the stem. Because the stem is open, I'm going to close them off to make it an area which I can fill. Now I'm going to use that mirror tool again to make another stem for the flower on the other side. Because it's selected, I can just move it into position making it match so that it's in the center. Now all I have to do is build one more stem, create a curve, duplicate it by just slightly pulling it off to the side, using the pen tool to close off the end so it can be filled properly. And we've got the three stems. Now we'll use the pen tool to do some freehand drawing. We're going to start creating a leaf. This leaf has a bunch of lobes on it and we'll really create just one half of the leaf. So I'm using the pen tool to sort of make a freehand drawing. I've got one half and I'll go back to our familiar mirroring tool to make the other half. And I'll jockey this back and forth so it looks right. Now I need to join those two ends and so I'll do that. I'm going to scale the leaf using a scale tool to modify its shape so that it's more aesthetically pleasing. This is a very powerful tool for making a number of different shapes and modifying those shapes. I'm using a rotation tool now to rotate one leaf into position using the rotation tool again to rotate a second copy of that leaf, and I'm using it a third time to make a third copy of the leaf. Since I want to shade the leaves and the stems separately, I will select all the leaves and the stems. I will then go up to the style menu 
a pick paint dialog box. I'm going to fill the leaves with a darker shade of gray and continue to outline in black. I'm also going to cut the stems and the leaves away and paste them behind the flowers so that they will appear to be behind the flowers. Now when I preview, you will see the completed image as though it would appear if it were printed. Isn't that great? Let's continue on. We're now going to take the text tool and insert some text at the bottom. We can change type style, we can change size, and we can change the text content. So I'm typing the word daisy, indicating that it should be centered on the point that I specified. Oops, it's too small. Let's go back. I'm going to change the size of the type to 36 points, three times as big, and change the letting. If I do not like this size, I can always go to the scale tool and make the daisies larger. This gives you a very, very flexible scheme for changing the size of type. Now we can see what the final image is going to look like. Isn't that great? Now that I've shown you some of the basic tools found in Illustrator, I'd like to conclude this demonstration by showing you some artwork that has been prepared by some of our users. This artwork is really spectacular stuff, and I think it demonstrates why Adobe Illustrator is different from other illustration programs.